Hi there, dear readers. Welcome back to my channel, Books, Ink, and Paper. I'm Lori, and today's video is a wrap up of my true crime readathon experience. It's not what I hoped, but I enjoyed it for the most part, and I do feel like I'm going to continue with the books that did not get read, which is all of them. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Part of the problem was that it was a busy week and it was, you know, it included a holiday weekend, Memorial Day weekend, and we had lots of stuff going on and some of that stuff was conducive to reading and some was not. So I have no regrets about the way I spent the week and how much I read. I really don't. I do to some degree feel bad about not completing one, at least one of the books, but Oh my gosh, they were so dense in content as well as in emotional reaction in some cases. So let me explain kind of what happened and then I'll talk about what I really think I'm going to do going forward. So I started with The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. And a lot of people commented and mentioned to me uh, when they saw me in person that they had really struggled with this book and I struggled with it too. I am about halfway done, even though it looks like a little less than halfway, I am eliminating all the notes and the, um, the extra stuff at the end, but uh, so I'm halfway done in the content and I discovered that I really had to listen to it and it was even hard to pay attention sometimes then. I feel a little bit like I was reading a, a required book in college. I feel a little bit like I felt then. Like um, I was interested in it at times, but at times I felt like I was forcing myself through it. And I wish there was more about the serial killer, H.H. Holmes, and less about the architects and the creation of the, of the exposition and the building and the landscape. And there's so much detail about all of that stuff that I think this will make a great movie. <laughs> I don't know if I will pick up another Eric Larson. I feel like I will, but I think that trying to get it read in one week is impossible. And again, listening, at least for this one, was the way to go. And uh, so I did make it through halfway. Uh, and again, I don't listen. I didn't get to listen as much as you know I normally would, I guess, because I didn't listen to it in the morning getting ready. I... I substituted my morning listening time for Mrs. The Fabulous, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. I'm trying to catch up and finish season two. And so I've been doing that and I've been watching some other things. And But honestly, if I really wanted to, I would have listened to this and I, I was really struggling with the desire. My partner read this and says that the last half is more about the about H.H. H. Holmes, Dr. Holmes, and about the criminal activity and what happened to some of the women and how he was caught. And so I, again, I will finish it. I just will not finish it by tonight. And the readathon ends tonight at midnight. And the reason I'm filming this now is because there's no way I'm going to finish any of the books that I've started. So because that was tricky to get through, I decided to pick up Columbine at the same time and read this. And I am um, about a third of the way through this. I'm buddy reading it with my partner. So she's about halfway through and I'm about a third of the way through. This too is really good. It's really detailed, but I'm not having the same problems that I'm having with The Devil in the White City with Columbine. The problem I'm having with Columbine is that it is um, pretty emotional and that, you know, we're sharing the read and one book. So I'm, you know, 
mindful of that and I'm not in any hurry and I'm not worried about, you know, there's no read on police that are going to come and arrest me and take me away today. So I'm really okay with where I am in this. And I do want to pay attention and read it when I'm present and really enjoy it. But there are times like I was at a, an arts festival this weekend, sitting at a vendor booth and, um, and I was reading some parts of it and just openly crying. And so obviously I had to stop reading for a while and read when I was in a place where it wasn't quite so obvious that I was emotionally drained by this and, you know, was trying to be perky and sell, you know, art and, and, and just be present with people that were stopping by the booth. So that was, um, tricky, but I do enjoy it and I do plan to finish it. It is a library book and um, I will be able to finish it easily, I'm pretty sure, before it's due. And then the next book was In the Sanctuary of Outcasts and I barely touched the surface of that on my Kindle. I did begin, I think I'm into chapter three possibly. Uh, I just, I, I couldn't finish. Usually my readathon is I, I can I can see myself finishing one in a couple of days and I start the other one and I finish it and and sometimes I go on and finish more than two and this week just didn't it just I just wasn't progressing through and so I didn't get to say nothing I didn't get to anything else and I just uh, I am where I am. I am who I am. Um, in fact, May has actually been, if I don't read something else by the end of the month, May has been a slower reading month for me. I think we just had, uh, we're going outside more now. Um, I spent the day yesterday on the boat with the kids and we had a cookout. And um, so there's a lot more going on in, in the summer. But I do think that I'm going to have a great amount of time to read in the summer. So I'm not worried about that. But just this particular month, um, I was a little bogged down in some ways that I'm not typically bogged down. So and 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 nonfiction is a slower pace for me than fiction, especially the fiction that I typically tend to read. And I don't know, there's just something about a story that is is different than reading something that happened to people. And and the details of the these two books in particular are pretty are pretty amazing. Well done, well written. I, I feel no um, doubt that I will finish both of them. Just not by tonight. <laughs> There's no way. So I will press on. I'm going to look at my June uh, TBR. I'm going to be putting up a summer TBR list soon. This month, this week will also, there'll be a lot of videos this week. This week will also have a wrap up video for May. Um, and then a TBR for June that may include a participation in at least one readathon. I have my eye on one. So stay tuned for that. Don't give up. Um, everything's going to be okay. And I have survived the true crime readathon. And um, I don't know, next time I may choose something different to read, but I am going to be reading some true crime. I'm going to be participating in Peter Likes Books book club. I'm going to start in June with Killer Clown. I'll post a link to that below and I'll talk about that more in another video, but I am going to start reading some true crime as a result of participating in Peter's uh, book club. And I'm going to reread one of my favorites in that regard too. So stay tuned. Everything's going to be okay. Um, I'll be back to normal soon, but the readathon was a bit of a, not an epic fail for me, but, uh, a small disappointment in my ability to get some of this done. It is what it is. Thanks so much for joining me today. I appreciate all of your support. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I love to hear about what you are reading and what you like and don't like. So put a, a comment in, and below, like it if you like this video and click the button above to get a notification every time a new video is posted. And as always, happy, happy reading. Bye. Mm -hmm.